when you get on the bus to Belfast, you don't require any special documents or anything. All you need is your ticket and you have to say your name and then the driver will take you off a list and basically register you. It's very simple. Hi, I'm in Glasgow right now and I'm going to ride this bike behind me that's called Hannon to Belfast. See you in five and a half hours. It's gonna be a tiring journey. Yeah, I didn't try the food on the ship, but instead I ate a buffet in the afternoon because, well, I love eating buffet a lot more. The data and the Wi-Fi on the ship isn't the best, so I recommend that you pre-download movies that you want to watch if you don't want to sit in the cinema and watch things like Sing To or Encanto or whatever is on that week. So we just arrived at Belfast. Our ship was 30 minutes late, so currently it's 10.19. Uh, the ship was quite enjoyable. I didn't take a lot of pictures of the inside of the ship, but I took some pictures of the exterior and the sea. It was a beautiful sight, and we, I spent most of the time in the ship watching the, watching the movie singing too. And I also explored the crate and all the floors in the ship. It, it was a nice experience and I didn't feel any seasickness because the ship was very stable. It was a cargo ship so it was huge. It was nice. It was a very nice place to go to and a nice way to travel. The bus ride was okay. I, I slept through most of it so I didn't feel any nausea that I normally feel. It was really fast. The driver literally rushed through the streets and we could feel it even wet though I was sleeping. It was an enjoyable ride overall. I recommend it. It's not as, it's not bad because the times is only like an hour longer than if you were to take the plane. So uh, it's quite quite a good way to travel to Belfast from UK.